The project CAT-T2 is a Nucleus Axio project in which four Catalan companies, Avertis Telecom, Dual Stream, Mir and Promax, have agreed to study and deploy the new standard for digital terrestrial television. The DTT is already in our homes, but there is now a second generation of DTT called DBBT2. This new standard for digital terrestrial television, the T2, has two major advantages over the current DTT. First, it offers a better use of the radioelectric spectrum, so it is able to broadcast much more information. This means more channels or with higher quality, for example, ultra-high definition signals, 3D, etc. The other advantage is the ability to broadcast content to high-definition terminals or conventional TV and also to mobile devices. This capacity to broadcast to fixed and mobile devices simultaneously is a benefit that the current DTT does not have and it is introduced by the new standard. This is what we are testing here at the Mobile World Congress in two ways. First, here at our stand with a small-scale broadcast chain where we can see the different stages and the final result but especially with a test signal from Colserola Broadcast Tower. Colserola is broadcasting a second-generation digital terrestrial television test signal in ultra-high definition format, also referred to as 4K, which contains four times more information than conventional high definition. It is the first ultra-high definition digital terrestrial television broadcast in Europe, and we've been doing it with our own technology, and we are showing it here at the Mobile World Congress. At the same time, the signal we receive from Colserola is also available for mobile phones, so we take advantage of the flexibility of this standard to transmit a lot of information on one side, but also for mobiles. We believe that being together here is an advantage to somehow look at the international market, because this standard will not be implemented in Spain anytime soon, but other countries in Asia or Eastern Europe not yet digital may adopt this standard at once and this is a good opportunity to export this technology to those countries.